Hey, how's it going, everybody? No, I'm a little bit later than this, the, at this than normal, but here are some NBA player props for today, specifically for the night games. So I have um, sorted the positive EV page to look at only the late games. So hopefully you watching this video have enough time to lock these bets in. So I will get right into it. Not going to dilly-dally around. The first play that we're going to go ahead and lock in here, really, really good play, Gary Trent over 23 and a half points, rebounds, assists. So this is a positive expected value play that is at plus 100 odds at Bet Rivers. Odds Jam prices the Novig line of this to be at about essentially minus 104 and a half, minus 105. And we are getting this bet at Bet Rivers all the way down at plus 100. So there's a lot to pack in here. Uh, number one is these Novig odds that I mentioned. So the way uh, the whole system, the whole positive expected value betting thing works is Ajdam pulls lines from the sharpest sports books in the world, removes the VIG, the VIG being the juice that sports books price odds. Like you can just tell the VIG by looking at both sides of the line, right? Plus 100, the over, minus 125, the under, the 25 cent gap. That is the juice that sports books price odds. So removing that, gives you the accurate representation of what a market should be priced at. And then, um, so takes lines from the sharpest sports books in the world, removes the VIG, and then spits out these odds you see here using a weighted average pulled from the sharpest sports books in the world. So when it comes to sports betting, all sports books are gonna have a different way of pricing odds. It's really just money coming in versus money, um, or money coming in on each individual play. So it's not like this huge, crazy formula, but they're all going to be different odds and some sports books are going to be better than others at pricing odds. So what Ajdam did was say, Hey, if some sports books are better than others at pricing odds, we're just going to use these sharp sports books to set the market moving forward. So if we can get better odds and better odds just means higher payout than the sharpest books in the world, well, in the long term, that's going to be a profitable betting venture. And that's exactly what positive expected value betting is. The true line of this, based on the sharpest sports books in the world should be at like minus, like I said, minus 105. We're getting it for plus 100, <coughs> excuse me. And then what you wanna do, you wanna compare the odds of the bet you are placing to the rest of the sports books. So in this case, we are locking in plus 100. Look at every other book and let's start with Pinnacle. So Pinnacle is generally regarded as the sharpest sports book in the world. So they kind of are given the heaviest weight when it comes to looking at odds. Pinnacle prices this at minus 125, the under at minus 106. They're heavily favoring this going over. And look at every other book and where they price this. Legitimately every single sports book, except for Ballybet, which Ballybet's going out of business, I'm pretty sure, has the over as the favored outcome. They think that the over is the more likely scenario. Bet Rivers is offering this at plus 100, and that plus 100 basically just means 50-50. So if you're if you place a thousand bets, and all of them are at plus 100 odds, if you if you win exactly half your bets, you would have broken even. If you win more than half, you would have profited. Well, these sports books are telling us that this bet has more than a 50% chance likelihood of hitting, which is why this is a profitable betting venture. So this is play number one. Gary Trent over 23 and a half points, rebounds, assists, plus 100 odds at Bet Rivers. Play number two. So I know we took his over PRA, but it's also profitable to take his under on rebounds. So let's just hope he gets a ton of points in this one. Uh, this is at plus 133 odds at Bet Rivers. The odds jam perfect line, the Novig odds on this one are at about plus 128. And then again, just look at where every other sports book prices this. Bet Rivers is at plus 133. Legitimately across the board, we see plus 113, plus 115, plus 114, plus 110. This is a massive, massive outlier compared to legitimately every other sports book that prices this play. Now, you might, you might ask, you might ask me, okay, well, why does it matter if I'm betting on an outlier? And you just have to think about it from almost a logical point of view. If seven, eight sports books are pricing it one way, plus 110 to plus 115, and Bet Rivers is charging a significantly less amount of money for it, plus 133, right? It's a huge outlier in our favor. Every single sports book has this play 
as basically more expensive, this under rebounds play, more expensive to buy than Bet Rivers. The most likely scenario here is that Bet Rivers just has this mispriced and then it should be priced somewhere else. So we're taking advantage of a pricing discrepancy. And if you're able to do that more often than not, again, that is how you can be a profitable sports better. So this is play number two, Gary Trent under two and a half rebounds plus 133 odds at Bet Rivers. I know this is a play because it's bolded. It's got the blue rectangle around it. Same thing here, bolded blue rectangle around it is basically the sign saying, hey, bet me, this is a good play. You should bet me. So that's play number two. Play number three, we are looking at Scotty Barnes to go under six and a half rebounds. This is at plus 120 odds at Bet Rivers. So same thing here. A, number one, the no big odds on this one are at about plus 117. And then, so the gap between these two numbers, that is where your profitability comes from. And then if you compare the plus 120 to every other sports book, I mean, we see plus 103, minus 105, plus 108. The only book that is semi-close is FanDuel at plus 108, but it's still closer to, than the rest of the sports books. And then Pinnacle, obviously, given the heaviest weight, is pricing this at plus 103. So this is a really good play. And this is play number three. Scotty Barnes under six and a half rebounds. So I'm skipping this Jeremy Grant made three, th excuse me, made threes one because I don't deem it as a big enough outlier um, compared to every other book. So that's why I'm not locking in this one. But his, him to go under four and a half rebounds is pretty good. Odd Jam Perfect Line prices this at plus 119. So again, there's a gap between these two numbers. Pinnacle has this at plus 108. Another sharp sports book that didn't have odds for the previous plays is uh, Bet Online. Bet Online ha ha actually has this for minus money at minus 103. So even more favorable on it than Pinnacle, but they're both, I mean, what, tw 12? This one's 23 cents lower. And then the majority of sports books, Caesars is close at plus 118. The other ones are like 10 cents lower at plus 110. This is a pretty good price at BetMGM, Jeremy Grant under um, four and a half rebounds, plus 120 odds. That is play number four. Next up, and this is in the Mavericks versus Jazz game, we got Dorian Finney-Smith to go under 12 and a half points, minus 110 odds at Bet 365. Again, it's bolded. It's got the rectangle around it. Uh, Ajian Perfect Line prices this at minus 115. Pinnacle has this at minus 142. Bet Online. Not as favorable, but still 18 cents higher at minus 128. The rest of the sports books are in the minus 130s. So again, if you just compare the line that we are betting, we're getting such a good price on this play compared to every other sports book, which is why this is a really good play. Again, if you, I'm not saying that every single one of these bets are locks. I'm not saying that we're going to win 100% of our bets or that we're going to profit every single day, week, month. But in the long run, it will be profitable. It is a profitable betting strategy. So that's play number five. Play number six, Jordan Clarkson under two and a half made three pointers. This is at minus 122 odds at Bet Rivers. Pinnacle, sharpest book in the world, prices this at minus 167. Bet Online is 20 cents lower at minus 147, but still 25 cents lower than what Bet Rivers has. Some sports books are close, like Points Bet and FanDuel, Bet365, kind of, but not really. But look at every other book. Minus 160, minus 155, minus 150. This minus 122, clear outlier than every other sports book that prices this. That was play number five, play number six. I, I already lost count. And then I have, I think, one more, yep, one more play. Josh Green over uh, four and a half rebounds. This is at plus 134 odds at FanDuel. Odds Jam Perfect Line prices this at plus 122. Look at every other book. Look at where the odds are. Bet Online plus 100. Fox Bet also plus 100. Pinnacle is the most favored on this one at minus 107. X Bet also at plus 100. 34 cents higher at a minimum is what FanDuel has this priced at, at plus 134. So this is my final play of the video. Really, really good play here. So if you're tailing these, comment and let me know. Would love to hear it. Other than that, it would help me out a ton if you could like the video, subscribe to the Odd Jam YouTube channel. And then, of course, if you want to find me on social media, you can at Jedi Modi. But that is all I got for you guys. So I appreciate everybody watching and have a good one.